Dude, I'm telling you, that is my number one pet peeve in my neighborhood. I, I, it drives me insane. Oh my God, why'd you even bring it up? Hey, <laughs> welcome back, guys. Me and Wilson. Wilson has, has gotten under my skin this morning, sitting here discussing people parking in the streets in the neighborhoods. Like if you live in a subdivision and you got a two or even a three car garage and a driveway, you ain't got no business parking in the streets, man. It's, it's real irritating. <laughs> Anyways, man. I wanted to show y'all my my new Bluetooth speaker. Well, I've had it for about three weeks, man. This thing is pretty awesome. You know, I didn't even introduce. Okay, look. Okay, Wilson got me all all flustered, man. I, I forgot my my flow. Okay, let me. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel, and I'm your host Antoine. You're an asshole if you park in the streets in your neighborhood, Richardson. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> look, man, this is the JBL Charge Five. I love and hate JBL, man. You can't help but not like their, or you can't help but to like their products. They, they, in my opinion, they typically do overcharge for their products, but you, they give you a lot of things that you are using that you didn't think you should have had to pay extra for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like the quality of a JD, JBL product is, it's it's like very subtle, but it is it is high quality stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and you gotta pay it sometimes, I guess. And, um, you know, two great examples of that is the JBL Clip 4 and the, uh, the JBL Extreme. Well, the JBL Extreme 3 is highly overpriced, man, but they give you, they give you some stuff that you don't really know they're giving you, but you gotta pay for it. Right here, we got the JBL Charge 5, and this bad boy is like 180 bucks on Amazon. That's how much I paid for it. And I ain't got no regrets. I don't like paying $180 for a Bluetooth speaker this small. That, but once you get it, you're like, huh, oh, fine, I'll, 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 I'll keep it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't help but like it. And you just start forgetting about the money you spent. It's all about quality, man. JBL produces a great sound uh, overall. The, the one thing I did not appreciate from the JBL Extreme 3 was the fact of the fact of the low end dropping out as you raise the volume. That's not entirely the case here with the JBL Charge 5. I actually like the sound that this thing produces. In fact, I actually use this thing to watch movies outside and listen to my phone, uh, like when I'm watching YouTube videos, when I'm outside at the pool and stuff like that. I have a surround sound system in my backyard, but it, I usually just use it to uh, stream Google or YouTube music. And when I wanna watch a movie on the big screen in the backyard, or if I'm using my tablet or something and I'm just messing around on YouTube, I'll use this because that way I won't interrupt the flow of what's going on on my surround sound system. And this thing sounds great. It performs extremely well. Now, look at this design, man. The design, it looks like it wants to morph into a football, okay? <laughs> and I'm not mad at that. I actually like the design. It is very portable in a sense that if you got a, a man-sized hands, you can just grab this thing and, and just pick it up. So it doesn't need a handle or anything like that. Uh, I think you're good with the design. The one design flaw I think it does have is this foot at the bottom. I think it should be a little broader because if you just kind of tip it a little bit, you see how it's just rocking? Now, if I apply some force, it's just gonna roll and then you're chasing after it. I think that's a design flaw. I love the way this looks looks, I just think it should be bigger. It should be have a bigger base. When we move over to the to the side of it, you're going to see that that um, that base radiator is it's twins. You know, we 20 20 right here. You got the twin base radiators with that JBL logo right there, which is nice and clutch. Uh, as far as the colors you get, man, you get a camo, you get black. I think you get a red and you get this teal right here. Shout out to my guy Judner over at uh, Average Consumer. That guy loves this color, man. And I see why this color is killing it. And I chose it because this matches all the the furnishings in my backyard. And I, I just absolutely love it. I, I really do. This color, I don't know what the camo camera right now is doing for this color scheme right here, but it is absolutely fabulous in, in real life. As we get into some of the interfacing right here, you got your sharing button right here or party type of button where you can link up a whole bunch of these bad boys to either in stereo or like, you know, a bunch of them together to create like a surround sound kind of effect. That's your button for there. You got your plus or minus, your power, your Bluetooth button to get this thing in pairing mode and then your play and pause. That's all you're gonna need for this right here and I'm not mad at it. On the back side though, that's where you got your charging uh, in port. That's the USB-C charging port and it is on the X 
exterior of the this port right here. Inside of this port, that's where you get your charge out. That's why they call it the char uh, JBL charge. You get 20 hours of playtime on this bad boy, but if you ain't planning on partying for 20 hours, you can share some of that big ass battery that's in there by opening up this flap. Now, this is something that's got me curious. If this is a charge out port, I guess you can't waterproof the USB-A, and that's why they put it inside of this flap because it's not even IPX6 or IP67 waterproof unless you close this flap. And this can be exposed and it's okay. I mentioned it's IPX6, I, I keep saying IPX, IP67 waterproof because yes, you can dunk this thing into a pool and it is still going to be playing music. It's not even gonna skip a beat. It'll also float, which is a nice touch because if you lose it, like if you're on a boat or you're in a pool or something, you don't have to go diving in there to get it. You know, nobody wants to play Marco Polo with their speaker in the pool because this is kind of a poolside speaker. Um, I wouldn't take this to an Olympic sized pool and try to, you know, entertain everybody at the pool. But if you got a pool at the house or something like that, this is a great, great uh, speaker to have. And I speak from from personal experience. We've really enjoyed this thing at my house, man. Now, this mesh material right here, this mesh material is something I have really I can't even say I've grown to like it. I've liked it since day one. Every product that has this mesh right here, I always love it. And they've done a great job right here. So as far as aesthetics, man, JBL, you got it, man. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Just need to broaden up this base on the bottom. Now, you pay $180 for a Bluetooth speaker because you want to get your jam on. Now, this thing does jam and I am going to turn it on for you, but a lot of people have asked me to compare it to this thing right here, which is the uh, Soundcore Motion Boom. Now, this thing does bring the boom. I actually compared it to the JBL Extreme 3. And in my opinion, this thing wins against the JBL Extreme 3 in a lot of ways because of the customization, the bass extension on the, on the high end of the volume spectrum. I mean, this thing, yeah, man, yeah. So check it out, man. This is the JBL Boom, or not JBL. This is the uh, Soundcore Motion Boom. You see right here, it's got a handle because it is a larger speaker. You can't just be, well, you could if you got some massive hands. You can clutch this thing and just grab it. But it's nice that they included a handle on that bad boy. And in, in the same way of the uh, the JBL speaker, you got your bass radiators on the side, radiators on the side. And they, they are twins, there, there are two of them, and you should not be doing this to your speaker. You will jack up your speaker, and then you'd be like, okay, I gotta go spend another $80. And I think that's about how much this thing costs, it's about 80 or 90 bucks. So we're talking 80 or 90 bucks, uh, and then we're talking $100 more at $180 for the JBL. Both of them are IP67 waterproof, so they, they can be pool speakers if you want them to be. And they both put out, oh yeah, okay, so you got an input and an output uh, for charging. You got your USB-C input for charging this thing up. Then you got the Charge IQ, uh, which is kind of a smart charging from Anchor because Anchor is the parent company of Soundcore and they get you get you this uh, smart charging in here, but you got to cover it up with this flap so it remains that it, that uh, waterproofness and dustproofness uh, remains. But you got these two speakers here. One is obviously larger than the other. So let's go ahead and I'm, I'm not going to do this in here, man. I'm going to take this outside, man. Let's go into the backyard and see how these things, you know, play against each other and see which one comes out on top. Okay, so I decided to do a more real world standpoint and take these speakers to my pool and actually put them where you would put them if you were at the pool. So let me put my shoes down right here. I got my Osmo Action with me so I can get wet. I just can't get my microphone wet. I'm gonna, I wanna be airplane getting on my nerves. Real world stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be recording all the audio through this lapel mic right here. That way, as I move further away from the speaker, you get a more realistic way of how to hear this thing from, from distance and stuff like that. So I'll put the motion boom right there. And then I'll put the JBL right here. They're both already connected to my phone. And we're gonna play them both at 50% volume. That's 50%. That's a nice sound, man. All right, you can see how far away I am. I'm gonna go to the other end. This isn't a gigantic pool, as you can see, but I'm over here. Whoa. All right, so that's the JBL at 50%. Now, 
Let's run this track back, pause it, and then I will put it on the Motion Plus at 50%. All right, right off the top, man, the motion boom sounds a little weak. The bass is thumping, but the volume is, hmm. Let's see that excursion on that, on that. Yeah, damn, there it is. God, dog. All right, let's come back here a little bit. See how that volume is gonna sound. I'm getting a lot of bass over here, man. So if you're just chilling with the homies, just talking, and you know, everybody's just having a good time, 50% volume right here is a good level for that. If you had like two or three people, maybe four, four to six people with you, 50% on both of these is actually pretty good. It's just that you're not getting as much volume from the, uh, from the motion boom. Now, let me turn these jokers up all the way. Oh, God dang, okay, that's loud. It's really loud. I ain't gonna lie to you, that's pretty intolerable if you are trying to have a conversation with some friends. You can't have it up full blast, dude. You're not gonna be able to take that. That was the, uh, the, the, the JBL Charge 5 at full volume. Now let's go to the sound core. We'll run that track back. Oh my God, holy shit. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> All right, man, let's just be real too. <laughs> when it comes to bass, so that clacking sound was actually the, the body of the speaker beating up against the rocks on the fountain. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, I put it on the fountain to have ambient noise, you know, to interrupt the sound of the speakers because that's a real life situation. You're gonna have people around, the fountains going, winds blowing, airplanes and stuff. So I wanted to make this as real world as possible. But that's what happens when you turn it up all the way and that bass drops. That's some low bass in that particular track. Now, uh, with, the motion uh, with the motion boom, I do have the sound core settings on the app as the sound core signature uh, sound preset in the app, along with the, uh, the, uh, the bass up technology engaged. So you're getting all the bass sound core is gonna give you with the, uh, the motion uh, boom there. With the JBL, you don't get those kind of options. They want you to listen to their clean sound that they're gonna give you regardless, okay? And I will be honest, man, while you do get more volume from the bigger speaker, obviously you are also gonna get more bass even on the high end of the volume spectrum. So if you need loud and boomy, yeah, man, go for the, uh, the motion boom. But what I experienced here was a little bit more clarity here. The bass, you know, it, it definitely tops out with that. Like I said, that was a low song, man. If you're playing a regular song, it probably won't do that. And let's play something with, uh, and it's not I'm defending JBL, I'm just saying it's a good speaker. It's just, this is all about boom. They call it motion boom for a reason, dude. Let's go to uh, a song with some more, some more like instruments or something. So this is the motion boom at peak volume. Okay, you see how it wasn't rattling? It's just cause that, that it's not the same type of bass. Now let's go over to the JBL. See how the JBL performs uh, at peak volume on a regular song, not just a straight up bass track. Let's see. You 
did you hear that brightness from the JBL? So JBL is balanced. It's balanced extremely well, even at full volume. Uh, you're still getting a lot of boom from the, uh, from the motion boom, which is to be expected because of the name, but that's a straight up boom party speaker right there. So the choice is really yours. We've opted to use the, uh, the JBL here at our pool because of the design and color scheme. It's nice and comp, well, it's not really compact, but it's, it fits here and we got the color scheme. I really like that color. So Soundcore, it would be nice if we could incorporate some more colors and also the durability. Because we're here, we got flagstone and stuff all over the place. There's a poss, oh, we got a dog too. So there's a possibility that this speaker, one of these might drop. And this is where I get into paying a little bit more for quality. While this is like $100 more, the JBL, you do get extra things in there that you might not think you're gonna need until you need it. Like this, this mesh right here that I'm really fond of, and you get the rubber stops right there. So if it actually falls on the ground, you might get some scratches and possibly even a dent, maybe, if it falls from more than waist high but it's not gonna look that bad. Whereas over here, we have an all plastic build, man. And I'll be honest with you, if I, I'm really afraid to drop this thing, I feel like the plastic will crack and it will be ugly and dented because of that metal grill right there. Uh, it, it looks great until, you know, maybe something happens to it. So if this is gonna be an outdoor kind of thing where you're moving it around and have dogs and kids playing around, you know, you might need to pay for a little bit more durability within the, um, within the JBL. Uh, as far as aesthetic goes, I mean, they're both probably gonna still play. Actually, I guarantee you they'll still play after a drop, but which one will actually look better and make you not want to replace it? I'm gonna have to put my money down with JBL <laughs> because, you know, that's an all plastic design. It is gonna be marred up and, and just bad looking. Either way, they're both actually waterproof. So let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and play the same track on both speakers because this is, you know, the fun part of doing this. So, got them up full blast. <laughs> All right, so they are both playing underwater pretty much face down. Let's get in there and see how that bass is coming out of there. Let's, let's see. Can you see the motion boom right there? That's pretty cool, man. Let's, let's look at the, uh, the JBL. Oh, man, that's, that's cool. That's cool. It actually sounds like the music is coming from somebody's house right now. It's, yeah, it sounds like it's coming from next door. Hey, man, it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this camera off. I might go edit this video now or maybe later. I really feel like just hanging out in the pool. I'm gonna go get me a drink. Hey, y'all gotta get out of here. I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get me a drink. Y'all get out of here and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button, man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?